and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at HIPAA detail pages. And what's really interesting about HIPAA and product detail pages or just detail views of items that are for sale is this can include a lot of things. So we may have a pharmacy that's selling items like medication. Uh, these have to go through a workflow and a process for the user to even possibly add them to their cart or go through the checkout process. We also may have a lab or some form of diagnostic. Uh, we could have a trial. Maybe we're just wanting to show the items that are in the catalog system. And then whenever someone wants to go and request them, they actually have to go through a find a surgeon or a locator type of a process and the list goes on. So we are going to dive into some of these scenarios and we encourage you to take a look at this from the perspective of how can I customize my HIPAA product detail page to be really specific to my business and my workflow. And what you may want to consider is how you can kind of use something standard uh, and work with a vendor that's going to be able to kind of cater this to exactly what you need, as opposed to having to create something completely from scratch. So with that, let's dive in and let's take a look at a few examples on HIPAA product detail pages. Okay, so just to get started here, we're gonna take a look at a pretty standard HIPAA product detail page. And in this particular example, you can see there's a lot here and we're typically not going to want to show all of this on a product detail page unless we need to and we think it's valuable. So the big thing that we want you to take away is there are a lot of capabilities, but in most cases for HIPAA, you're probably going to want to reduce what you show to just what is needed. So here you can see though, we have a uh, listing and basically it's got all of the standard meta information that you would expect for a particular product. It has the price and the ratings, the uh, inventory level, uh, the unit of measure, quick description. We also have a image gallery and typically we're going to also offer any kind of advanced media like a 360 view, possibly like a label picture or any kind of immersive media like video, of course, and just basically give the user access to everything visually very quickly. And then we also have drill down capability so the user can see related items, possibly kit items, maybe variants or different kind of dosages or quantities. Uh, they may be able to see like a subscription um, or the number of refills, that kind of a thing. And then of course, any kind of downloads related to this particular item. So this particular item may have a lot of detail around kind of how to take it, uh, what some of the kind of, you know, prerequisite information would be, um, and maybe the steps that the user is going to need to complete in order to order this product. So again, this is just kind of a general view. Now let's kind of dive in and we'll take a look at some actual examples. So here in this particular example, we're kind of looking at some of what I was talking about previously, where we've kind of gotten rid of all of the things that aren't necessary. We're also showing the user some really credible information visually with these nice icons and just brief text so that we're kind of getting rid of any kind of concerns they might have. And then we're getting into overview. What is it? How does it work? What should I tell my doctor? Common side effects and safety information. So these tabs are dynamic per product. And it's something that we can change per category, subcategory, or individual product and display different tabs with different contents. Uh, the actual presentation of the media on the page can also be dynamic. And we can easily bring in related content uh, for other related products, kits, variants, different dosages, etc. So now whenever this user goes through the add to cart process, you can see that they're going to go through this kind of detailed set of questions that go with the product detail page. Now, this is really important for HIPAA because a lot of HIPAA projects have really specific workflows. And at the end of the day, the kind of name of the game for the customer is this needs to be self-service or it's really not that helpful. So we want to allow the user to be able to go to the site, make some selections, and then go through a wizard, go through a workflow that really intelligently walks them through how they can get this item to them with as minimal a number of you know, human interactions as possible. So here they're actually integrated into a pharmacy 
using an integration and we're asking them questions so we can set up their dosage, we can set up their supply, and then we can kind of go into some other alternative recommendations. And then we can kind of upsell and set up automatic shipping in this case. And then uh, just to kind of show you an alternative view, this is an alternative view for one of the product detail pages that has this all built in. So this is just to kind of give you a flavor of what it can be like with your product detail pages and how these can be simplified from this kind of overall presentation that has a lot going on. So we wanna get it to something really clean. Um, it could be kind of all of the steps in one, or we could break those out. So it's just add to cart, really present the credibility, kind of address some of the HIPAA specific items, and then go into a wizard that they can complete before the item gets added to their cart. Okay, now in this particular case, we're taking a look at a uh, product detail page for a essentially a buying group that is going to be distributing to pharmacies uh, with these particular items. Now, the actual inventory information, the details about the pricing, the intermodal kind of shipment options, and all of the details for this item are actually coming from a back office EMR, EHR system, or ERP in this case. And so this is kind of warehouse factory information that's always coming in and pumping in to this HIPAA platform. And what's really interesting about this case is whenever the user logs in their particular pharmacy, they have specific pricing, they have specific products that they can see. So you can actually see that here if you take a look at this catalog that just they have access to, and this catalog is catered to this particular pharmacy. So this is kind of interesting and you can see we're showing the different delivery options. So then whenever they go to the detail page, they can see the details as they apply to that particular pharmacy. Um, we also have the ability to see whenever an item is available, uh, eligible for a free sample. So you can see that here as well. So it's just an interesting scenario. And what we want you to take away from this is that depending on how your business model works, we can heavily cater that product detail page and you ought to be looking for a vendor whenever you're doing a HIPAA project that can do that. Um, it really needs to be able to be self-service again for your end users. Okay, so continuing to move on, let's take a look now at kind of a standard presentation for a pharmacy type of model. And here you can see that this presentation is also including white papers. Uh, they also have accessories and recently viewed in addition to recommended products. And then they also have ad space as well. So for this particular product detail page, we're kind of including additional information. Um, here you can see what it looks like with the uh, sale price. And then finally, we wanted to show another example where we're presenting something that is more of a trial. So this particular user can come in, uh, watch a video. They can see a lot of detail in the immersive video or uh, multiple videos potentially about this particular product. And then they can also see the different sizes and the different purchasing options. So they can purchase in these different scenarios. Uh, they can look at the product specs, brochures, and resources. And for this particular catalog system, all of these tabs below and all of these different variations are completely dynamic. And this data can pump in from the back office systems dynamically. So whenever a new product is added, it gets pumped into the system right away. Now, the other thing that's interesting as well to consider are uh, locators and the ability to go into a product detail and have a questionnaire and a locator. So we'll take a look at that next. Okay, so for this example, we're looking at a product detail page essentially that is presenting different kind of sub nav and what we would call a champion for this product detail. So this particular product detail has a lot of kind of associated content and the user can actually watch a video. They get a really immersive visual presentation. They get a sub nav where they can kind of drill into the specific kind of subcategory content that the marketing team and really just the overall team knows that the user, they're gonna to wanna to figure out more information in these different areas. They're gonna kind of gravitate toward those areas. And so we also have these really nice icons that are kind of calling the user to these different topics. Now, once the user gets into the details, they can see things like trial results and have a really nice visual presentation. 
They can see testimonials or what are labeled as experiences here and then watch the actual content uh, immersively. So see some really nice videos. And then they can also actually go through a questionnaire before they see kind of what the steps are and what they would be able to do uh, with this particular item and their specific uh, conditions. So is it a good fit? If it is, what are the next steps in the process? Um, they can also see if it isn't a good fit, why? And what might be some alternatives? So this is really, really helpful for the user to, again, kind of go through this self-service type of model and allow the user to be able to get what they need right away. And so if they are a good fit, do they want to find a surgeon? If so, here's a proximity search for a surgeon uh, that might be able to perform this surgery with this particular product. So the idea here is that you're looking for, and we encourage you to look for a HIPAA solution that can really marry different capabilities to be able to deliver the full self-service experience that you're looking for. Uh, you can do the same type of thing for different lab tests and scheduling lab tests, for example, uh, being able to have the user e-sign and go through a workflow with possibly a telehealth process where they're getting on the phone virtually, uh, possibly getting a teleprescription through a telehealth appointment that we can schedule whenever they add the product to their cart and they go through the checkout process possibly for a lab, a trial, or some form of pharmacy type of medication. Really, the variables are a myriad of options. And here you can see for this final example that we want to show, uh, we're actually representing a chemical uh, on the product detail page for a specific company that provides chemicals. So this is really interesting because here we're dynamically presenting the information that's coming from their back office database. Um, in this case, it's an ERP system. And this includes product attributes, and you can see these are pretty detailed. All of the related products, uh, we have some really detailed chemical data, uh, safety documents, and properties of the chemical itself. And then we also have the ability for the user to go through this quoting process, uh, dig into the C of A, the adding to the wish list, adding to the shopping list, or compare. And then they can also change the units of measure and select the right quantity for this particular item. So uh, the bottom line with HIPAA product detail pages is you probably have a very specific workflow for your business. These are some examples of how folks have used these uh, on past projects that we've completed. Uh, there really are a lot of different options though. And we encourage you to take advantage of what we call a complimentary discovery. And we're just gonna kind of briefly describe that next. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you would, we encourage you to consider the opportunity to take advantage of our complimentary discovery process. If you're really interested in getting more information about this particular topic, that is a great way to, in a no hassle, kind of low key way, get to interact with experts within this field. And our commitment to you, if you decide to engage our team for a complimentary discovery or just a complimentary strategy and discussion, is that we will absolutely point you in a positive direction, help you kind of accelerate on your path, even if there's not a good fit for us to directly work together. We have a lot of resources and a lot of experience in this area of focus, and we just encourage you to take advantage of that if you're seriously looking in this space. Uh, if there is a good fit, of course, we'll also present you with great options that you can consider for how we might work together. And either way, we certainly appreciate you taking a look at this video. We encourage you, if you think this was valuable, to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. And we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.